Now to news for your help tonight. Allergy season is here. You may have seen this viral video that well, every allergy sufferer is really their worst nightmare. There is so much pollen in New Jersey right now. A cloud goes airborne when a bulldozer taps a tree. Look at that. That video may have you reaching for the antihistamines tonight, but that's not the only way you can prepare for allergy season. Tech XY4 with Taylor Graham working for you. She spoke with an allergist today to pick up some tips that could save you some sniffles and some sneezes. What did you learn, Taylor? Well, Nadine, I figured today's rain would have helped my allergies, but Dr. Stephen Kernerman says it may actually put more pollen into the air in the long run. He says, though, there are plenty of steps you can take to fight off allergies from when you wake up to when you're getting ready for bed. It's almost as if Megan Arnold can feel that pollen bomb in New Jersey from Spokane. As spring is in bloom, so are her allergies. It's pretty gross. I mean, my nose just starts running. I sneeze a lot. My eyes get all puffy and red. Arnold even telling me she had an allergy attack minutes before meeting me. The rain actually kind of makes it worse. Allergist Stephen Kernerman says she's right. The rain fuels the plants to grow. The growth fuels the pollen to be available. And then if the sun comes out, then we'll start to have higher pollen counts. So how can you fight back? Kernerman says you should avoid going outside early in the morning since that's when pollen counts are highest. When you head back inside after a day in the sun, Kernerman recommends changing your clothes and taking a shower. The pollen settles all over the skin, including the hair. So if you lay down on your bed and you have pollen in your hair, you're going to get it on your pillow and then you're going to be inhaling it all night. Arnold tells me she's been following those guidelines for years and takes medicine before even noticing symptoms. Kernerman says she should brace for the worst. If we get the rain and then we get the warm and the sun, then it will be a miserable pollen season. Going forward, if you'd like to check out pollen counts in our area, you can head to pollen.com for a full forecast. And Dr. Kernerman says you should watch out for the grass pollen count. He expects that count to be the highest, and he says those levels should be peaking in a few weeks. For now, reporting live from Spokane, Taylor Graham, KXOY4 News. Thank you, Taylor. Well